Great to see you here again. My name is Luc de Custer and we are talking again about special products. And here I will be looking at the difference of squares. But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button. And every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about this. So let's have a look at this new special product. Now, when we look at the special product formulas, this is the third formula we will be specifying, we will be calculating. And here we are looking at the difference of squares. Now, what we are going to try to find is a special product formula for the product of a plus b with a minus b. Why do we call it the difference of squares? Well, basically the result of this multiplication will be a to the square minus b to the square, so difference of squares. Let's see how we can find this formula. Now we start with the formula the way we did before, so we have a plus b multiplied with a minus b, and again we are going to apply the rule of distributive. So we first have a times a, which gives me a squared. Then we have a times minus b is minus ab. Then we have b times a is ba. And the last one is b times b is b to the square, but we have plus b times minus b, so we have minus b to the square. Now we see that ab minus ab and ba, basically they're the same because we have commutative property a times b is equal to b times a, and we can eliminate those because they have the opposite sign. The result of this is a squared minus b squared. So the formula that we have is basically that the product of a plus b with a minus b gives a squared minus b squared. Let's have a look at some examples here. The first example is 5x plus 2 times 5x minus 2. The same thing that we do, so we have 5x, which is basically a from the previous formula, 2 is equal to b, and we can say that we have a squared minus b squared, so the first term a squared is 5x to the square, the second term is minus b, uh, sorry, 2 to the square, which gives us the result, and now we just have to finish the calculation. 5x to the square is 25x to the square, and 2 to the square is 4, so we find 25x to the square minus 4. The result of this multiplication of this special product is that the product of 5x plus 2 times 5x minus 2 is 25x to the square minus 4. Let's have a look at another example. Here we have the square root of 5 plus 2 multiplied with the square root of 5 minus 2. And this is a very interesting example because in some applications, we try to get rid of that irrational number. We try to rationalize an expression. And we will see that later when we are going to rationalize the denominator, when the denominator has a square root in the formula or in the expression. So let's have a look what we have here. So we have square root of 5 plus, square, plus 2 multiplied with the square root of 5 minus 2. And we find that the square root of 5 is a, the same like a, and 2 is b. Now when we look at the steps here, we have a squared minus b squared. So a squared is the square root of 5 to the square minus 2 to the square. And when we do the calculation, the square root of 5 to the square is 5. And the square of 2 is 4, so we have 5 minus 4 which gives us the extremely difficult number of 1. So basically we can write here that the square root of 5 plus 2 multiplied with the square root of 5 minus 2 is equal to 1. So that was it, a rather short video, very short examples, but very interesting. We will use it later in some problem-solving examples and in some simplifications like when we look at rationalizing the denominator or the numerator of a fraction. That was it for this video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.